Additive manufacturing really uh, came into the spotlight several years ago. Um, it's becoming more and more prevalent as people are developing parts. Um, they're learning that they can make extremely complex parts. It's not geometry dependent. As long as you can create a file, we can create a part. Hi, I'm Gary Burdell from 3D Systems, the Quick Parts Division, and we do additive manufacturing. We make components, additive manufactured parts using 3D laser centered components, additive manufacturing, SLA, SLS, uh, color printers. We have all the different types of materials that 3D Systems offers, and we are the Quick Parts, the parts division of 3D Systems. There's uh, a lot of different material choices just in the laser centering. We have PA. We have PAGF, which are nylon type components. We have carbon fiber. We also have high temperature peak and carbon filled peak for the military and aerospace applications. You can design without manufacturing your normal manufacturing parameters. Limits as far as draft angles, as far as moldability, wall thicknesses, as long as you can create the part. There are very little limitations to making your components. The color printer is a starch based system. Basically you can print any uh, color. We can take an SDL file, we can uh, color the parts, it's good for quick looks like models. Production components are more in your laser centered nylons, glass filled nylons and the, and the peak components. Sintering is a uh, basically melting the powder. SLA, which is a liquid resin, uh, utilizes a laser to basically photochemically cure the liquid resin. You can send us a file. We have uh, experts in the field to call you up and talk you through the process. We want to know what the application is, what are you going to use the parts for, the temperatures that it's going to be exposed to. Um, some people just want a quick look like sample. Other people want a functioning part that they can bolt onto an aircraft or frame and utilize it for a production component. This is a metal plaster cast part and we use additive manufacturing to create the pattern for the plaster molds. We uh, again take a 3D electronic file, we'll take your SDL file, we'll make a SLA pattern, then we'll do a rubber mold and we'll make a plaster mold from the rubber mold. It's sort of like an investment casting pattern where we'll take the plaster mold, pour the metal into the mold, break the plaster away and we have our metal part. This is a SLA pattern, SLA part I should say, that we did post finishing work to it. We sanded it, painted it, and made it a photo model. So these components could be put right onto a, in this case, into a car, or just a, a fit sample for the car to make sure everything's fitting properly. We also do injection molding. This is one of, a, one of our larger components that we injection mold. This is a two-part assembly. Um, taking your 3D digital data, cutting your tools uh, conventionally, either aluminum or steel, Molding the parts, we have secondary operations where we can put inserts in, we can do decoration, and we can do low volume or high volume. We have aluminum tooling and steel tooling. We, we don't use additive manufacturing for the injection molding process. We take your electronic data file and we'll cut your tools conventionally using CNC, EDM methods that conventional tool makers make. But we do aluminum and we do steel tooling. We have a lot of capacity of quick parts. We'd love a shot at your uh, files. Take a look at them and uh, do some work together. Thank you. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.